Okay, so good evening. Okay, so ngayon pag-aralan natin ngayon as requested ha. Ano ba daw yung fractions? Okay, when we say fractions, okay. Yan na. Again, I'll do it ng title. So, the fractions. Okay, so what are the fractions? Pag-aralan natin, what are the kinds of fractions? Okay, now we have here. Sabi natin, kung let's say halimbawa, ito yan. Okay. Then here, we have here. Okay. And then here, we have here. Okay. So, let's say halimbawa. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then, 1, 2, then 3. Dito naman is 1. Okay. So, dito, sa pag-identify ninyo ng fraction, bibilangin ninyo ilan ang may kulay. How many were taken? Tatlo. Tatlo ang may kulay. Ilan sila lahat? Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Tatlo sila. So, ibig sabihin, tatlo ang may kulay. Tatlo sila lahat. One, two, three. Three were taken. Tatlo sila lahat. Dito naman, ilan na may kulay? Kulay, ilan ang taken? Isa lang. Ilan sila lahat? Tatlo. Okay? So, yun yan ah. Okay. So, from here, makikita ninyo, dito tatlo, dito tatlo, dito tatlo. Okay? So, pare-pareho yung kanilang denominator. Okay. Dito rin. Let's say, limbawa, meron tayo dito. Okay. 1, 2, 3. And then, here we have 1, 2. Ito naman, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, tingnan natin. 1, 2, 3. Tatlo ang may kulay. Okay. Ilan sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan. Anim sila lahat. Dito naman, ilan may kulay? Isa, dalawa. Ilan sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Dito, 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat ang may kulay. Anim sila lahat. So, what have you observed? Kung mapapansin ninyo dito, pari-pareho ang kanilang dami. Okay? Pari-pareho. Pare, pare, they have the same denominators. Okay? When you see na ang kanilang denominators ay pari-pareho, this is what we call the uh, huh? uh, similar. Similar fraction. Okay? Bakit similar fraction? Kasi pari-pareho sila. Okay? Now, tingnan naman natin. Kung let's say, halimbawa, Aha, gumawa tayo dito, halimbawa ng, okay, gumawa tayo dito, halimbawa ng, 1, 2, 3, 3, ito naman ay, 1, 2, and then, ito naman ay, 1, 2. Okay, so this is now, 1, 2, and then 3. So, ilan na may kulay? 1, 2, 3. Ilan sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 over 6. Dito naman. 1, and then 2. So, ilan na may kulay? Dalawa. Ilan sila lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then here, we have, yan. Ilan na may kulay? Isa lang. Ilan sila lahat? Tatlo. Okay. So, from here, makita nyo, ang denominator niya dito ay 6, dito ay 4, dito ay 3. So, iba-iba. So, this is what we call the, this similar fraction. Okay. Okay. Now, dito, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron dito, tatlo ang may kulay or three were taken and yet, ilan sila lahat? Tatlo din. Dito naman, meron din ganito. One, two, three, tatlo sila and then, tatlo sila lahat. Tatlo ang may kulay, tatlo sila lahat. Dito, isa. Okay. Now, eto ngayon yung sasabihin natin na okay, if we are going to add this one, 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 3. Okay? So, this is what we call the improper fraction. Okay? Improper fraction kasi mas mataas ang numerator compared sa denominator. Okay? Now, kung let's say, bawa naman daw, Ito siya. Okay. 2 and then 3. Okay. So, dito meron tayong 
3 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3 over 8. Ito ang uh, proper fraction. Okay? Nakuha nyo? Okay, now. Kung dito, ay eh, wala na. Kung dito, meron kayo ditong 3 and 3 over 3. Okay? So, this 3 over 3 is considered as 1. Ito rin, 3 over 3 is considered as 1. Okay, now, 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. Okay? Meron kang ngayon ditong 1 third, kaya 2 and 1 third. Itong tinatawag nating 2 and 1 third, this is what we call the mixed number. Yeah, mixed number. Okay? Improper fraction. Ito ang inyong proper fraction. Okay? 3 over 8, proper fraction. Pare-pareho ang kanilang ilanim, ang kanilang denominator. So, we call that similar fraction. Okay? Ito, iba-iba ang kanilang denominator. They are called dissimilar fraction. Okay? This one, okay, representing the whole, okay, so, dito, 3 over 3 is equals to 1. 3 over 3 is equals to 1. Pagsamahin natin, 1 plus 1 is 2. Ito yung 2. So, ito yung buo. Okay? So, 2 is the whole number. And then, we have here a part of it. 1 over 3, kaya 2 and 1 third. Okay? So, these are the kinds of fraction. Improper fraction, proper fraction, similar fraction, dissimilar fraction, and mixed number. Okay, so importante na kapag kayo ay nag-exam, okay, on your module, maintindihan niyo ano ang kaibaan, what are the kinds of fractions. Okay, so dito, tingnan natin. Sabi niya, sa test niyo lalabas ang ganito. Sabi niya, identify. Okay, you have to identify the kinds of fraction like this one okay so dito meron kayong 3 over 9 2 over 9 and then 4 over 9 okay and then here this is number 1 ah. then here we have number 2 we have here 4 over 5 and then 1 over 3 and then 2 over 6 then here we have number 3, 5, and 2 over 7. And then number 4, we have here 8 over 3. And then here with number 5, we have 2 over 9. So how are you going to classify this? Sige nga. Okay, so since dito, makikita nyo ng 9 over 9 over 9. Okay, so kahit yun na lang ang tingnan ninyo. So makikita ninyo, diba? Pare-pareho. Okay, so you have now the clue that they are called similar fraction. Okay? May hirapan ako sa magalaw. Okay, so they are called similar fraction. With this one, iba-iba ang kanilang denominator. So we call this one okay, this similar fraction. Dito naman, you have the whole number together with the fractional number. So, this is what we call the mixed number. Okay. And then, here we have 8 over 3. Okay. So, paano ba ninyo ipapakita yung 8 over 3? Ganito yan, ha? 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so ito yan. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. Okay, paano yan? Dito, 3 over 3. Okay, 3 over 3. Dito naman is, tatlo sila, tatlo rin ang may kulay. Dito, dalawa ang may kulay, tatlo sila. Yun, no? Pa plus nyo lang. So, this is now, 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, so this is now what we call the, yan. 8 over 3. Ito ang representation ng 8 over 3. Okay? So, from here, makikita ninyo 
uh, mas mataas yung numerator niya compared sa denominator. So, ito ngayon yung tinatawag natin improper fraction. Okay? Dito kasi, kapag meron kayong exam ng addition of fraction, addition of similar fractions, ganito yung gagawin nyo sa addition of similar fraction. Okay? Now, dito makikita ninyo, 8 over 3, mas mataas yung, yung numerator kasi denominator, kaya this is what we call the improper. Okay? Improper fraction. Now, this one, dito naman, 2 over 9. Okay? Ito yung tinatawag natin, proper. This is what we call the proper fraction. Okay? So, kapag ito lumabas dun sa exam ninyo, ganito kagad yung gagawin ninyo. Okay? Now, bibigyan ko lang kayo ngayon ng idea. Bakit kailangan alam natin ito? Kasi, as you go along the way, magkakaroon kayo ngayon ng exam. Okay? So, sabi ni teacher, you have to rename or wedding you will add similar fractions okay let's say nibawa papani yan tingnan natin na so meron tayo dito 3 over 9 okay plus 2 over 9 so paano ngayon ang gagawin niyo diyan you just have to simply add it 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 over 9 oh yan ganyan lang Okay? Now, kung let's say, limbawa, we have here 4 over 7 plus 1 over 7. Okay? So, you would notice here, they have the same denominator. So, we classify this one as uh, similar fraction. Okay? So, when, when we encounter similar fraction, we just have to add the denominator. So, 4 plus 1 is 5 over 7. O, oh, yan na yan. Okay, yan na yan. Okay, so, kung meron kayo ditong 3 over 10, okay, plus 2 over 10, okay, so, how are you going to add this one? So, 3 plus 2, this is 5, okay, so, ang denominator nila is 10, okay, so, yun, simply 10, okay? Now, kung let's say, meron naman kayo, na let's say, nimbawa, sabi niya, Ah, uh, meron kayo limbawang 3 and 1 over 5, okay, plus 2 and 3 over 4. So, paano kaya ninyo gagawin yan? Okay? So, dito kasi kailangan alam natin ang least common denominator natin. Okay? So, ngayon, since uh, we're lacking of time, okay, I'm just going to discuss that sa next video ni Ate Glo, okay, para hindi kayo mahirapan, no? Kasi mahirap yung uh, nagmamadali tayo sa oras, no? Okay, so ang uh, masasabi ko lang sa inyo, if you like the video ni Ate Glo, mag-comment po kayo sa ibaba, okay? Possibly, pag uh, uh, ilagay ninyo kung ano yung next subject na gusto ninyong matutunan, sa susunod para noon patuloy namin kayong matulungan.